Hello and welcome to another tutorial from windowslovers.com. This is a guide on how to use Chrome OS on a Windows 10 PC using VMware Player. So let's get started. please give this video a thumbs up comment if you have any questions or run into any issues while following this tutorial and subscribe for more tech tutorials like this i'm not going to go much deep into what chrome os is as i've recently wrote an article on what chrome os is and a brief overview about the operating system that chromebooks run on on our blog windowslovers.com i'll make sure that i leave a link to that blog post in the, in the description if you are looking to learn more about this operating system let's go through the things you will need for this guide first thing is the VMware player which is free to download and use for personal usage. Second is the Chrome OS uh, image from Cloud Ready which is also free to download and use. Uh, the only drawback at this time of me creating this guide is that the lack of Google Play Store and the capability to install Android apps like you would uh, if you install Chrome OS as a native operating system on your Chromebook. If you're not familiar Chrome OS also supports a Google Play Store um, but if you are looking to install Android apps on uh, Cloud Ready that's running on a VMware player, you won't be able as of now. Maybe in the future they will release an update where you will be capable of doing that. First thing is you to download uh, VMware Workstation Player. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to download VMware Workstation 16 Player. So if you go to the link in the description below or just do a Google search or go to VMware's website. Um, and at the bottom, you will see try try workstation 16 for windows so i click on download now and then as you can see that i've already downloaded this all right so the first thing that you download second thing is you'll go to uh cloud ready's website and if you scroll to the bottom you will see that there's a link that says where can i find vm images so if you go to download vm images it will take you to the page where you can download uh the image from so um just go to the link and download the latest image you have um, you have on the website so uh, download v83 so it's version 83 at the moment 64 bit cloud ready so click on that and it will give you the download option and the download will start um, I'm not gonna download this now as I have already downloaded this files all right so first let's install VMware player so open the folder where you downloaded the player double click click on yes click on next accept next um you can click enhance keyboard driver it's up to you i'm gonna leave that for now agree to all the terms conditions next don't want anything on the desktop click on next install it's a pretty straightforward installation as normally as you would install all the applications on your computer it only takes a couple of minutes all right so this installation has been completed you can go to license and then finish or you can just click on enter all right so once uh, the vmware works in player is installed open it and click on open a virtual machine and locate the cloud ready file that you downloaded from cloud ready earlier click on that and click on open give it a name anything you prefer and then where you would like this virtual machine to be created if you are low on space in your c drive you can create it somewhere else for the purpose of the schedule i'm going to leave it as default click on import it will take a couple of minutes for this to import and your virtual machine will be ready to start. Once this is ready, I'll go through the initial configuration of your virtual machine as well, which is pretty straightforward, but the only thing you need is a Google account. And if you don't want to have one, you can create one all from the screen. All right, so once the import is complete, select the virtual machine and click on play virtual machine. Um, it's it's asking me if I want to install VMware tools. Um, I recommend you do that as well because it will improve your performance and your mouse and keyboard usage inside the virtual machine. So click on that. Um, you can just minimize that. You can just hide that for now. Okay. As you can see, uh, it says welcome and this is your Chrome OS running. This is a welcome screen for your Chrome OS. All right. So if you've never used virtual machine, what you got to do is if you click inside this box, what happens is you would control the Chrome OS. And if you want to go back, as you can see, the mouse doesn't go. So if you, you got to press Control and Alt, and then you can use your mouse outside as well. Okay, so if you are familiar with how VMware or the virtual machines work, you're good to go. Um, click on the virtual machine, click on Let's Go. All right. 
Uh, it says it's connected to Ethernet because uh, the virtual machine is connected to whatever internet connection you are connected on your local machine. So I'm connected to Wi-Fi and it's, it's just bridging from Wi-Fi to this virtual machine. So it says Ethernet is connected, which is correct. Click on next. It's going to go check for updates. Click on continue. This is your Google account login. So depending on what you want to use and depending on for what purposes, if you're going to use it pretty often and if you need your files, you can enter your personal email or you can create another uh, test email for that matter and enter it here. I'm just going to use enter your password. All right. So it says all set. You're ready to start using your Chrome device. Click on get started and this will log you in. You can read what are the changes? So as I, like I said, there are some changes as compared to a normal Chrome OS, but it's still the only thing I can see um, here is that you cannot install an Android app as there's no Play Store. Everything else is exactly the same. So I have uh, Chrome OS installed on my normal laptop. So if you would like to see a guide on how to install Chrome OS on your um, normal laptop, please let me know in the comment section below. So I'll probably prepare a guide for that as well. That's pretty much very advanced and it depends on thousands of things and if it's going to work on your computer or not. But I'll try to create a quick tutorial on how to do that if, if you are interested. And as you can see, this is your Chrome OS. Um, like I said earlier, if you want to go back to Windows 10, press Ctrl and all at the same time and it will release your cursor. If you want to go back, just click on the a virtual machine and it'll take you back into Chrome OS. Um, this does have a, a little bit of a learning curve to it if you've never used one, but it's pretty straightforward. I've been using it for some time now. And if you would like to learn more about um, how to use Chrome OS, there's um, there. I have uh, I have a number of guides on Chrome OS and Chromebooks on windowsloves.com, which I will link in the description as well. Um, and please leave any comments uh, for any video suggestions or anything you would like to test out or if you have faced any issues with this tutorial. Uh, and once again, please leave a like if this video was helpful. Um, subscribe for more and you have a nice day. Thank you.